Welcome to Toffee TV, it is the Everton News Daily. Vita Pereira has withdrawn from the Everton managerial hunt. Uh, he thanked the club for showing an interest in him. He has chosen to remain in China with his current club. Uh, he said he was honoured to be considered for the role as Everton manager, but it's the club he manages in China is close to his heart and he's chosen to withdraw from the process. Um, I'm not sure it had anything to do with them offering him uh, 25 million or 30 million to stay. That's up to him. Um, and I'm not sure whether he was as high up on the agenda as maybe it's been indicated. But who actually knows? Who knows? But he's withdrawn himself from the, uh, the search for a new Everton manager. Much to a lot of Evertonians' relief, it has to be said. Uh, other people still in the run. And David Moyes is the current favourite to become the new Everton manager. Um, a lot of money on him and obviously people talking about David Moyes with possibly Duncan Ferguson as his assistant manager. Other people in the frame, Marcelo Gallardo is still in the frame. He is uh, out of contract on Friday after um, his River Plate side playing the Argentinian Cup final. There's some money spread on him, uh, some reports linking him with Everton. I think he's one who's probably the most intriguing out of the list of names that have come up so far. Uh, but he's obviously never managed in Europe, um, although he has been very successful in Argentina. Other managers, Rafa Benitez, he spoke on Monday Night Football last night and said a few things, apologised for calling Everton a small club, said he would take the job, he'd like the job. He's got friends as Evertonians, but he wasn't looking to leave China at the moment. Uh, Ralph Ranić is another name that's been bandied about. He, I personally think he'd be a fantastic addition for Everton. Um, he has been doing the sporting director job at Leipzig, um, but I feel if he could come in and maybe have Duncan Ferguson as his assistant, that would be a really good fit. Uh, and other people are still on the list, such as Nico Kovac and Eddie Howe. Um, but we'll have to wait and see. But as I say, David Moyes is the favourite. And interestingly, he was still the favourite before Vita Pereira uh, withdrew from the process. So we'll have to wait and see. Um, but the longer it goes on, the likelihood is that Duncan Ferguson will be in the dugout when Everton face Manchester United at Old Trafford on Sunday. Uh, some big news today, Zlatan Ibrahimovic has been linked with a move to Everton in January. The uh, Swedish striker is currently out of contract, having finished uh, the season in LA Galaxy and left there. He's, his agent is Mini Raiola, who is obviously very close to Everton, close to Farad Mashiri, and of course looks after Marcel Brands, and that's probably how the link with Zlatan has, um, has come about. Everton reportedly ready to make Ibrahimovic their highest paid player on an 18-month contract. Uh, we know that the club are looking for an experienced striker to uh, help with the development of Dominic Calvert-Lewin and Moise Keane. Um, and Ibrahimovic would, would be very, very interesting. One, it'd make Ped absolutely delighted be his dream come true, loves him. Um, but he's such a big name, isn't he? You know, what is it? Four, eight, eleven, twelve letters, something like that. But he's a massive name in world football um, and can still do a job, big target man. So we'll wait and see whether there is anything in that. But Raiola has, you know, smooth deals between Everton and other clubs before, most you know, notably Moise Keane in the summer. So we'll see what happens with that one. Uh, and Moise Keane himself has been linked with a couple of loan moves in January. Uh, Calcio Mercato reporting that Roma and Bologna are interested in taking the young striker on loan. Um, Everton made their stance pretty clear a couple of weeks ago and said he's not going anywhere, he's here for the long term. Um, and Calcio Mercato have got most stuff wrong this season, so it's probably one you can file under nonsense. And finally, Everton under 23s lost 2 1 at Leicester City last night. It's the Foxes' eighth straight win. Uh, the Blues, young Blues, were 2 0 down before Anthony Gordon reduced the rears with a late penalty, but Everton couldn't find an equaliser, so went down two goals to one. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. If you want more videos, join us on Patreon. You can buy these Everton jumpers, your Christmas jumper, that's on our store. And if you want to buy some stuff off Everton Direct, the link is in our description below. Use that and it'll take you through and you'll see the savings there. Thanks for watching. See you later.